Hello, it's your queen, Marceline, and in this video I want to talk about the censored mod that can be used for the Fear and Hunter games. Should you use them? What are the benefits and downsides of using it? For real, I think it's an interesting topic, and I felt like there's a discussion to have about it, so let's go! But before I do, I want to clarify my position on censorship. To be brief, I am opposed to it. As someone who adores the horror masterpiece Postal 1, it being banned in some countries makes me very unhappy, but censorship in general, it's a messy topic. Since there are benefits to censorship, like in this video I'm going to go through some of them. Plus, I want to say that art shouldn't be censored. Even with how vile the Fair and Hunter games can be, I still adore them and think it's a very beautiful game. We need to protect games like that. Just wanted to get that out of the way. I know some people will see the title and be like, she's pro censorship? No, I'm not. However, it's still a messy topic, and there are benefits to it. Plus, it doesn't help that a lot of people misuse the word. Like, if a character in a remake gets a redesign, people will just go, that's censorship, bring back the old design. And that's like, no, that's not censorship. That's the devs making a redesign of a character. Like, how is that censorship? So yeah, it doesn't help that people do that, and it makes the whole topic even more messy. But, anywho, let the video commence! So, what is the censored mod for the Fair and Hunter games, and what are the two variations of this mod? The Devil's Minion No Commentary made the censored mod, which does the following. It hides all forms of nudity, so no penises or tits, etc. It covers up all sexual abuse that can happen in the game, graphic, events, slash deaths, certain dialogues, and much, much more. There are two variations of the censored mod, the cute adorable Pangoon Pig! Being the hero we didn't know we needed. <laughs> For real, it's so cute how it covers up the bad stuff. Then there is the simple blur that hides enough, but not too much. It's clear what it's blurring, unlike the Pinecone Pig version that covers everything up. Now, with that explained, let's talk about the reasons why you should and shouldn't play the Fear and Hunter games with the censored mod. In my opinion, there are two really good reasons for using the censored mod. Firstly, if you are a content creator or a streamer, especially if you're a streamer, this is amazing! There are rules to what you can post and stream. Due to the nudity, dark themes, and sexual abuse, that's a no-no to streamers and content creators. If you want, you know, show the rawness of the games. But with this mod, you can stream the game and it's totally okay! This is huge because making content for the games is difficult, and this mod makes it so much easier now. That's a massive W. Imagine if this mod didn't exist for streamers. They would have to manually adjust the game, which is a lot of work, just to stream it. This mod does some wonders. Okay, let's step away from content creators and let's talk about the regular players. This mod can help them if the data content in the game is too stressful for them. It can make them feel uncomfortable or too upset to play, and that's understandable. The Fear and Hunter games are incredibly dark, so this mod can provide comfort for those who want to play without witnessing the data content. That's also a massive W. They too can experience the game safely, and that's amazing. The game takes power away from you, but this mod can give some of the power back to those who need it. And a honourable mention reason thing, uh, <laughs> using this mod can be just fun, and a totally new and different experience. As someone who plays the game raw, it's kind of cute and wholesome seeing Pinko Pink when I get into fights. <laughs> it's cute as fuck. We went through the benefits of using the censored mod. Now here comes the downside. To be honest, there's only one. By using this mod, you're not playing the game the way Myro intended you to. I'm a firm believer that it's really, really important to understand and try to empathise with the creator's vision for their works. By playing with the censored mod, you are not witnessing the horror, the beauty that Myro has made. Now, this is not me trying to be an elitist, or this is not me saying, hey, you, the true way to play the Fair and Hunter games is by not playing with the censored mod. No. That's not what I'm saying. All I am saying is that Myro worked really, really hard on the art and animations. By using the mod, you're stealing a part of the experience away from yourself, and you don't get to embrace Myro's creations the way they were intended to. Instead, it's replaced with Pinecone Pig. As cute as a little piggy is, it's very distracting and it really clashes with the art and animations. It also clashes with the horror that the game offers. This is a horror game. I know! Pinecone Pig is cute, but unfortunately, it really, really lessens the impact. It takes away from the experience. And yes, yes, sure, sure, the blood version negates this issue, 
but it's still noticeable, and it's a shame because Myro puts so much work into their games. This type of horror in their games is something we don't get a lot of, and the censored mod, well, it takes it all away. In addition, there is no censored mode in the games, so Myro intended the player to not play the game censored. Again, this is not me saying there's a true way to play the games, of course there are justified reasons to use a censored mod. It's just that the horror in the Fear and Hunter games is very powerful, and it doesn't appear often, and it's very important. It's precious, we have to protect this type of horror, and we need to promote more of it, you know? And it's a shame that this mod takes that all away. It's kind of heartbreaking. You can't appreciate the work Myro put into their games. Okay, time to end the video by sharing my own thoughts. Ultimately, I believe if you feel comfortable enough to play the games RAW, then play it raw! It's an incredible experience, and I love it a lot. However, at the same time, if you are a content creator, or you feel like you need the mod to embrace the Fear and Hunter games, by all means, use it! The last thing I ever want is for a player who finds the themes and events in the games too much, and then forcing themselves to play it, and then that leads them to become very upset and too painful for them. Use the mod to play the game safely. You should never put yourself through something that would be too stressful for you. Hell, even Myro has said it's totally okay to watch playthroughs if you can't play the games. It's always, always important to be safe. Importantly, these games aren't for everyone. However, if it takes the mod to help you play the games, then I am beyond happy for you. Just in case someone asks, as a content creator myself, I don't use the mods. I personally insert Uru Needle's head. It's funny, horrific, and kind of cute. <laughs> Needles, you are my Uru clown. Lastly, I just want to say, you will never be judged for using a censored mod. Anyone who does judge you, is an asshole and should be ignored immediately. Don't be afraid to use the mod. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts of the censored mod. Is it good? Bad? Is Pinecone Pig cute? Or is Uru Needles cuter? <laughs> See ya.